and she had been counting so on him running her up to Nova Scotia to see her sister on the telephone. Maybe in a week or two, your cousin Alfie will bring her to see me. He waved back, then dropped his hand, hoping she would go back into the house and fitted his palm. It's weight. He and his brother just hadn't had time to visit much this summer. Still expressed unfeigned surprise. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. So it's a freezing cold day here today in Cornwall. Uh, it's about one degrees, but I'm out here in the beautiful sunshine. I'm in Wadebridge today, somewhere I've not actually ridden on the channel yet, but I've got the Onza Zoot with me. Now this is a bike that I actually bought secondhand from someone um, before the pandemic. I've had this hanging in my garage for about five years. And um, thanks to the uh, Onzonaissance or the Onza Renaissance or whatever that seems to be flooded the place like loads of people and stuff. I think Ali Clarkson has um, a lot to be thankful for that, for getting the T-Rex out and everything else. I just remembered I had this Onza just sort of sitting in the garage, not doing much and stuff. So I've taken um, some of the parts that were originally on the Ashton, um, so I've put a new set of bars on it, a stem, um, and uh, some decent V-brakes on it and stuff. It's set up still kind of streety. The brakes aren't like super sharp and grabby, which is kind of good. Um, but I've just had a little roll around on it this morning, like for a couple of minutes here. I've not had a proper go on it, but it actually feels really fun and flicky. So I'm kind of excited to see how this will go. Um, got the skate park here. There's some other stuff down in Weybridge. I'm going to have a go on that in a bit. But um, yeah, this is the uh, the Onza Zoo. So I'm going to see how we get on with it. Um, thank you to everyone who's subscribed. If you haven't already, please do go and press the subscribe button. Uh, everyone means so much. It really does. And uh, yeah, let's uh, have some fun on this whole thing.
So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video of me riding the Onza Zoot. I had so much fun with it in Weybridge. It was such a cold day, but it was so much fun. Um, the only real problem that I had with it was the rear brake was just really not up to um, standard. So it was really difficult to like commit to a lot of things and to trust it. So what I think I'm gonna do for the next video, because I think there has to be a next video. That was like just me warming up and have a play around. I'm going to see if I can root around in the spares bin, find a better rear brake, and I think I've got just the thing for it, and then go out and have another ride on it and see what it's like. But I mean, I just had so much fun riding this uh, weird 24-inch thing, um, and it's, I kind of, I'm starting to understand why 24-inch, like, there was a sort of wave of it which people really enjoyed riding, but then it never really picked up. You don't see many 24-inch trials bikes around anymore. And I guess because like, if you've got like a 26-inch bike, then you know that's good for one thing. And if you've got a mod, that's good for the other thing. But it's like, actually, why would you want to go for the thing in between? And I guess that's why 24-inches are so creative, like, or that they're, you often see them in being used in really creative ways because they're just neither one thing nor the other. So um, yeah, I, I don't know. That's maybe my weird little insight. But I hope you enjoyed this video. There's definitely another one coming next. And um, yeah, please do go and subscribe to the channel uh, to keep up with all the updates and stuff that's going on. Put the notifications bell on if you'd like to do that kind of thing. And I will see you guys all next week for whatever we've got then. All right, thanks very much. Cheers, bye-bye.